So they're here already, Simon. Mm -hmm. We're late. I'm sorry. Why can you never get here on time? Have I got time for a nice coffee? No. Actually, can I just nip to the leaf first? I'm really busting for a slash. Can I just, can I just go first? Right, sure. I'll, just, I'll be right back. I'll be sure. right back. Where's the toilet? I'm dying to go. Where the hell is it? Hello and welcome to the Yorkscast. Today I'm here with Roberto Marchese, who is the art director of Hitman Absolution, a game series to which I am a massive, massive fan, so thanks for coming. Thank you for having me. My partner Simon, who's usually here with me on these videos, hasn't actually... Well, he was here, but I lost track of it's him. It's very unprofessional of him not showing up on time. Exactly. So, first question, it's been six years since the last Hitman game. Very smart. He does sometimes like to dress in costume, actually, so I can forgive him oh, that much. Yeah. So, uh, six years, what has changed in the Hitman game? Because I absolutely love the old one. Well, uh, thanks for, for, first of all for having me here. Uh, lots have changed. Uh, this is by far the most ambitious uh, game IO has shipped today, and uh, we believe it's also the most complete Hitman game. It's effectively the Hitman game that we have wanted to do all along. Now the social stealth has evolved, the gunplay mechanics have evolved, and uh, also the AI has really improved with uh, our new Glacier 2 engine. So hopefully the wait has been worth. So uh, new graphics, yes. new mechanics. Yes. Uh, one of the things I loved about Hitman was the disguises. Um, of course, Hitman can blend into his environment in many ways, and by knocking people out, he can just take on the appearance of a construction worker or a fireman, and I guess you were a big part of that, being yes. the art director. So what was your, you know, what were the biggest, biggest the best disguises that you think are in the game? Well, and uh, Hitman can <coughs> infiltrate into? I don't think there is a best disguise as such because the social stealth element that comes from the disguises is, uh, is really one of the pillars of the game and really want to keep that uh, as true as it is to, to, to the nature of, of the fantasy. Ah. 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 I am. <laughs> what the hell was. We can cut that, that's okay. You... Is he alright? Can, him... can we get him a glass of water or something? Um, do I have a drink of this? I'm. Just... It's my water. That's a bit rude. I'm sorry about this, Roberto. So as you were saying... Yes, yes, I was talking about the disguises that have... Uh, they're my favourite disguise from You don't the game. really well, need disguises though, do you? I mean, I was playing the other day and one of the sort of challenges is to just... stay in the, in the, in the suit the whole time, you know? Yes. You can actually get a lot more points for doing that. And one of the great things that I found when I was playing was that um, Shin, who's one of my friends, he was basically going through every level without using disguises. And he was just in stealth the whole time. Um, Doing the silent assassin way. Exactly. And he was just killing me on score. So I ended up spending a lot of time like playing the same level over and over again. But the good thing about that is, is that um, Hitman is built in a way that allows you to complete these levels in loads of different ways. Right. So basically, what um, I did was on the King of Chinatown mission. Yes. I first of all was using like the the, the, the fish to put the that in his food, fish, yes, food yes, yes. fish, yeah. But then I found that there was this fantastic way to like basically push him into a vent, 
Um, and so, can you can you talk about sort of level design and how you end up with these like different paths? Well, the, 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 we don't know how people are going to play the game, and that's the biggest challenge we have as I'm developers. Really that we want to create a level and a game that is as flexible as possible, that can just take any kind of punishment that the players are going to dish out at it. And yeah. Give a meaningful uh, playthrough to the people. The game is uh, extremely scalable in its nature, and uh, hopefully. The fact that you can replay a level more and more time and try to beat your score or your friend's score, it's going to really give it legs in mm. the long run. Now, the thing I wanted to talk about was the, the multiplayer contracts mode. Yes. So that's where you basically set up um, a challenge for someone else to complete. So you have these levels populated by hundreds of, of, peop of NPC play, um, people, and um, you, you would mark three of those as targets for other players on the internet to kill. And you can make these changes very, very difficult, can't you? Yes. Well, it's, it, the, the contracts mode is inspired by how the community has been using the previous games so far. And mm. that is basically taking anyone on a level, any NPC on a level, and making him the, con uh, the target and not the one that we have stipulated in the beginning. Right. And killed him in a very inventive way. Yeah. And then have challenged each other to see, can you up me on this way of killing this guy? Yeah. And uh, you can do this in, uh, in the contracts mode that we're introducing in Absolution, and we're giving the players the tools to create contracts by playing them and then uh, sharing them with their friends. And uh, fundamentally, if you believe that you are the world's most deadliest assassin, now you can actually prove it. Yeah, I mean, that's fantastic that you can basically mark, you know, three maids or something, or, or just, you know, a, a, a stairway attendant as, as targets. And, of course, you have to be able to complete the mission yourself in order yes. to challenge other people. It's to not do an it. editor. It's yeah. definitely not an editor that make you create a contract that is not possible to create. Every contract that you will receive as a challenge has been completed by someone else before, and that is actually one of the most important aspects of this. Absolutely. Mode. Well, look, Roberto, thank you very much for joining me. I'm sorry about my friend Simon. I don't know what's got into him today, um, but hopefully we will um, be able to cut out most of these problematic bits and, and this will be a very... I've done lots of interviews in the past so I'm used to the cutting in. Okay. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to meet here. you. Thank you. I'm just going to go and deal with Simon. Hang on a second. What is this? I'll be, I'll be right back. All right. Simon! What on earth happened there? Simon, are you okay? Lewis. Lewis. What's going on? Why have you changed... What's, what's with this changed. gun? Why, what, what? why are you acting so weirdly today? What do you mean? 